What's up guys, it's Stephen Jones, and in this video, I'm gonna cover how to sew a seam. And just after that, I'm gonna show you how to make your seam super crispy and sharp so it looks really good. When you first start stitching, you're going to wanna to hold the top thread back with your thumb. Now what this does is it stops the machine from pulling the thread up. And if, if that happens and you start stitching, you can get what's the bird nest on the back or your, your thread can actually come out of your needle. It's a real pain in the butt. So if you make sure that you're holding the top thread back, and I just hold both pieces of thread back because it's easy, easy to find as opposed to separating the two, I'll just put my thumb, put a little pressure, and hold it down and go forward two to five stitches and then I will go in reverse and back tack to the beginning of where I started and then continue my stitch. And if you actually look, you your sewing machine is going to pull through the fabric relatively straight. It'll be a little crooked, but that's normal. And then you're going to back tack at the end. And if you see like my fabric turned, so the stitch is crooked but that's a very straight crooked stitch. So all you're doing with your finger is kind of guiding it lightly through so it doesn't make an angle and it makes a straight line. So I have these two pieces of fabric. They're just a thousand D Cordura. And I'm going to sew a 3 8 inch seam allowance on the edge. I made another video about seam allowance. So if you want to get the gist of seam allowances, check out this video. You are the guide, right? And you just want the machine to pull the fabric through and it's gonna do this through the feed dogs if you're on a drop feed, if you're on a needle feed, the needle and the feed dogs, and if you're on a walking foot or compound foot, you're gonna have the needle foot and feed dogs pulling the fabric through. So what I like to do is just put my finger at the back side of the fabric and I will just push down on the pedal and let the machine take it. And I'm just going to correct the machine if I need to, but quite generally it's, it's just the slightest touch. Otherwise the sewing machine is going to bring it through. So now that I have my two pieces of fabric put together, that's it. I have, I have a lock stitch or a back tack on the front and the back, uh, and my stitch is done. I, I could call this a day. But what I want to show next is how to make a really crispy seam. So if you take the, the seam allowance and you push it to one side, you'll notice on the top of the fabric that you have a bump. One side of the fabric is higher than the other and that can get really annoying in certain circumstances. Now if you want a really flat seam what you do is you just turn your pieces upside down, you fold the pieces of fabric that form the seam to their respective sides and you just push down with your thumb on that seam and what it does is it makes that seam tighter and crispier so that when you turn it over you have a much look better looking seam on the top. Now this is going to be fine for most applications but if you want to take it even a step further they have these rollers and I think they have smaller ones where you can get in there and roll your seam down to make it even tighter now this you could leave like if you were uh, having a lining, not a big deal. You have these raw edges, but they'll be covered by a lining. And that's pretty crispy and that's going to get most of us where we want to be. But if you want it really tight, what I do is I take this double sided tape. Yes, you guys know me. I'm obsessed with this tape uh, and I will actually apply that to each side of the seam. So now I have the double sided tape on each side of the seam and I'm going to pull off the backing. Now I have my, my double sided tape in place and I can just start anywhere on the seam but you can start in the middle and push your finger down right on the seam and just pull it down so it's nice and tight. So having these layers flat is really great if you're going, like if you're working on a domestic machine and you have another panel going in here, now you have a very thin layer, two layers only that you're messing with instead of here being 
one, two, three layers plus binding or whatever else you have. And this is also really good if your, your lining is gonna be covering this backside and you just want your piece to be as tight looking as possible. So I've overviewed how to uh, set a lock stitch or a back tack, how to set your seam with your seam allowance, kind of how to sew a straight line, how to make your seam crispy, and then how to make your seam super crispy. This is the extent of how I do seams unless I'm binding, but this is how I make my seams look super crispy so my bags or whatever sewing project I'm doing looks sharp. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll try to answer as fast as I can. If you guys wanna check out other videos, there they are. Feel free to subscribe. And if you're interested in bag patterns or learning more, check out bagbuff.com.